Early morning views. Ooh, must be around about 8 o'clock, I'm sure thereabouts, from our Airbnb accommodation on the Content and Peninsula near St. Columbi. Oh, look who's come to visit. We've got a little grey pussy cat come to visit. Don't know whether he's going to stay or walk on by. No, he's coming in. No, I don't think he should come in. Well, the first couple of places we picked for our accommodation on the BBA V3 have certainly been rural. This is the Pony Club at St. Columbi. There's kids down the back there getting some uh, expert training on their horses. Day's a little bit foggy, but should turn out alright. I can just feel a little bit of warmth coming from the sun behind me. Our Saturday trip has taken us to Cape Hard. It's about 50 kilometres from where we're staying, and on this day it's a lovely, quiet, calm scene, but I can't imagine what it'd be like in a real Atlantic storm from blue wind. Richard thinks they're birds, and I think they might be birds. Ooh, she's got well ahead of me now. That's the target up there. Region, but the uh, what looks like it might be some sort of bunker perhaps from World War II. Anyway, on we go. Well, it is a bunker, that's exactly what it's turned out to be. And still very much intact. Looks like it's had the odd bit either fall off or perhaps be hit by some shrapnel. But the bunker itself is still in pretty solid shape. Right, now for the journey back. Back to the car, that is. Probably be time for lunch. Came across that stony bank there that looks like it's been man made. I'm just going to have a quick little nose at these houses that are just off the edge of the beach there. Not sure whether this lifeboat station is still used, although the door looks relatively new. here in the little sheltered harbour. A whole lot of other people seem to have turned up, all now eating lunch. So I think that's what we might go and do as well. There's a whole group of them around here on the other side of this building, which is just out of the slight, slight breeze there is, which of course makes it chill anyway, for lack of um, really any warmth in the sun just outside the um, place where the tourism office is, which is not going to open until the 26th of March. It's all happening over at the fairground as we're here in Schuberg, down on the waterfront. A bit of a stroll, see what's here, before we head home again. to the fort on the top of the hill overlooking Schuberg. Somewhere up there in the misty haze. Not oh, misty, but it's hazy, that's for sure.